Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So we've got an animal today, a Border Collie dog. So I'm on landscape orientation page. Remember, use a pencil, hit pause. If I go too fast, you can always ink after you do pencil, but pencil, it's way easier to fix mistakes and stuff. So definitely recommend the pencil for any of these tutorials. Right. So. So we're just above the halfway line here. So the halfway line here, right across my page, just here. So we're going to come up a little bit and then come over, right? So we're going to start with his eye. So big, big border collie eyes. So they like start about here, right? And it's going to curve up and around. So it's going to go like up this way. so and then it kind of comes to a point here and it goes back down the other way like this and then it'll go up and around here so that's the kind of shape you're looking for for his eye so then in there we have an iris and a pupil so the iris is just here like a curved line just there and then the other side of the iris just here another sort of curved line like that you can't see the full iris because the eyelids are covering it so then we have a pupil inside so normally it'd be a black circle but we're going to add just half that and shade in the top of the eye just to make it look a bit more realistic right so we're going to curve it around here so you're going to do like a letter U. You could do a, a normal black circle if you wanted, if this is too difficult, but you're just going to do like a little letter U here. Okay. And then you're going to add like a highlight or a shine just here, just like an irregular shaped a circle would do. But if you want to go a bit more realistic, you could go an unusual shaped white highlight and maybe some small little white dots like here so then this is black and all around here is going to be black So like that, and then of course the darkness will get sort of gradually less as we go down. So you just add some little hatching lines, some strokes with your pen or your pencil, just like that, okay? Then we're gonna add some eyelid lines just coming around the dog's eye. So you wanna do these kind of sketchy, hairy lines like this, coming around, right? So the sketchier kind of the better, I would say, make it look a bit more realistic, kind of like that. So if you're going for more of an animation type effect, you would just draw a straight, like a line that's like just all connected, like one line going around. But maybe if you're looking for a bit more of a realistic thing, you would do little hairy lines like this. Because the animal is hairy. So coming down from the corner of his eye then, we have a line that comes down this way. Just like that. And of course, there's way more details around the eye, but we'll we'll do those after we get the other eye in. So the other eye is two eyes across. So whatever the width of your eye, to get everything in proportion, you want to go across twice to get the other eye in the right place. So whatever this is, you go one, two, and that's where the next eye will start. So it's going to come up and over. Big curving line again, like so. And this will come down to that sort of point here again, in the corner of his eye, so just like that. And then we will curve it underneath. And up to here. 
So again, we're going to add the iris. So we've sort of a curved line here and then a curved line here, like so. And then we're going to do the same type of eye. So we're going to just do like a letter U, same sort of pupil, sorry, like a curved line, like so, up to there. And we'll add a white highlight. So we're just going to leave a section. If you had some like whiteout, I think they call it in America, or Tipex is what they call it here. You could like this stuff, you know, you could add that on top, say, if you wanted. White paint works well too, but like you just add a drop every now and then. But if you don't have that, you could just le use the white of your page and leave the page white and color around. So it's up to you really. Depends on what materials you have, I guess. So we're going to color this black. And then up around here is going to be in shadow as well. Because it's underneath his eyelid. So the eyelid is casting a shadow. And as we go down his eye, it kind of gets gradually lighter. And to do that, you could either shade it with your pencil or add some hatching kind of like this. And you could do that coming down here too. So to make it look lighter, you just, the lines would be less or further apart, that's all. So like further apart like this. Many different ways of doing it, of course. So then we'll add eyelid line coming around like a hairy one, a squiggly sort of hairy line coming around. That's shape for the eye again, just there. And it'll come to the corner of his eye just here again. And then it'll go underneath hairy line. Like so. Like that. And then there's that line that comes down sort of from the corner of his eye down to about here again. And then we have like sections around his eye, right? So, so he's got um, kind of eyebrows. I guess you call them eyebrows, but they're like these bumps that are on the inside of his eye just here. So they're like sort of hairy curved lines coming up and across this way. And again, you want to have it like hairy looking, kind of like that. Like coming back towards the eye this way. And there might be some like hair lines inside, texture lines. Not too many. Like that. And this kind of a bumping thing. I don't know what it is. I think sometimes dogs can have these things that whiskers grow out of just above their eye, close to their nose. I think it's to do with their their senses or something. I'm not, I, I'm not a scientist, I have no idea. <laughs> so from here, you do this, sorry, over, over the other side as well. So coming out from his eye, just from the corner here, you'll do like a similar sort of shape coming up and around. Hairy lines again. Like so, you can add that sort of bumping thing inside here. And like some hair growing inside like that. And we have sort of a continuation of that eyebrow. So it kind of comes down this way. I'm going to call it an eyebrow because I don't know what else to call it. So it comes down like so. And then the other side will come down the other side. Like so. Um, yeah, and like some hair and stuff. You could you could add as much to this detail as you want. You don't have to add too much. Do, 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 do. So that's what we're going for so far. So he has another section under the eye, kind of similar to this, except more round. So what I mean is like it comes this way first, and then it's going to go like it's like kind of like bags underneath his eye, except it's like he's real tired, except they're hairy. So this is like gonna go like 
like so hairy line again and this may have like some hair lines inside just like in here little hairy little dog hair lines like so and we do this over here as well so coming out from the corner first and we go around back into this line that we drew coming out of his eye as well so like back up to here so it comes like so hairy line back that way and there might be some more sort of hair lines inside there texture you know just creating the illusion of fur that's what we're going for okay so once we have this type of stuff done we can do his nose so we're jumping to the nose now so the distance between his eyes is the same as the distance between each eye to like the middle of his nose right it's approximately the same so like the center of his nose should be like here okay. so that's about the same distance as this so you've got this equilateral sort of triangle going on here okay so that that they're in proportion. And at this point, we have the line that kind of goes across the top of his nose. So it's like a sort of curved line that comes across the top of that. It's just here. And this will kind of curve up the sides just here. So that's like the flat top of his nose, right? So, the other side of that flat top comes up this way and curves over here. And it can be a bumpy line again. Remember, nothing in nature really has straight lines usually. Well, very few things anyway. And this is going to curve around to where his nostril is. Just to there. And you might have like some hatching just on the side here. Yeah, you know, some detail lines maybe coming across a little bit, not much. So this, this kind of shape here, this line we drew first, it kind of becomes like a letter T for the middle and the middle line goes down this way to about there. Okay. So this is like a letter T and then the sides of that will come out the bottom so they'll like come up this way curve up towards the nostril up here so just like that and we'll do something similar on this side so this is gonna like curve up like so Trying to get them as even as we can. Don't have to be perfectly even, of course. But even, just a little bit even. So then, we'll add in his nostrils. So the nostrils come from this sort of section where those two points join. So we're gonna curve it around like this. Like so. And this nostril is gonna go back around and join this here. So that's like a flap on the edge of his nostril. And then there's a line to show the inside and the outside, that separation between the inside and outside, just here. Like that. And then we do something similar over this side. So it kind of curves down. Round it into there. Like so. Okay, and then the inner line, so inside sort of line curving around here. And then we just have to make the inside of his nose look darker. So you're gonna add kind of like some hatching like around here and maybe some a little bit just there as well. So 
trying to make this area look dark. And then in here, kind of a medium. Like so. And then of course there might be um, some extra lines sort of coming around the nostril, like here. Coming around this way. Coming maybe up the center, like so. here yeah just adding like some little scra scra squiggly kind of hatching lines just there okay so the snout once you have that nose done now we can get in the snout pretty easily so we can do a line straight down just here from the center and this is going to come around to the side of his face so it's going to go a kind of a hairy line so it's going to go like around So, and at about nostril level, so about up here, we're going to have sort of a dark section, like a thicker or like a just a darker sort of area at around the level of his nostril. It's like the mouth, the, those gums that dogs have, you know, those sort of dark gums just there. Could have a piece of fur like coming around it here, like so. And then we go the other side. So we go around this way. Hairy, sort of squiggly line. And it's going to go up. Like so again, they don't have to be exactly even on both sides. But about nostril level is where you'll have that darker sort of portion just here that's like his lips or his gums or something that dogs have that come real wide like so so we have a dark portion of his mouth just in here And then his bottom lip or jaw or chin, whatever you'd like to call it, just here. Again, another hairy line is what you're going for. Like so. And you can add some texture lines, some little dots and dashes, furry, hairy lines on that. So we'll finish this now, right? So we're gonna, just gonna draw some hairy lines that come back in, up in, into the inside of his nose, right? So you're just going to go sort of up like so. And then in. So gradually adding a hairline or two just up this way. And then we might have some like hairlines coming in like that. And maybe something coming down the side of his snout, down to the edge of his nose, just there. Like so. So real sketchy lines now we're going for. And we do the same thing going up this way. Right up to the inside of that eye there. And maybe a bit of a line that goes down towards the edge of his snout, just like so. And of course, we have a line that might go up the middle. So like a light line that way, up the center there, going up. And it might go like nearly the whole way to the top of his head, like sort of just to there, kind of. Just a light sort of line like that. You could have like some more hair inside here, like some hatching and stuff, some kind of squiggly lines, fur and stuff going in this way, growing in like so. 
where you can add as much of this as you want, really. Give me some lines like that. Coming down just to show the side of his snout. Like so, maybe a line coming around the snout itself. Coming around down like this. Just to show that this area is kind of curved a little bit. Kind of comes down like so. Real light, very only suggesting that area. And some more hairlines. Maybe some tufts of hair like around his nose, just to show that that's a bit hairy. Some light hair here. Some like give him a little bit of a mustache down here. Not a real mustache, but like, you know, just some hairlines just down here. Ooh, and dogs have whiskers down here, so, so that's what we have so far. So. Yeah, so then whiskers, so like small ones, just like coming out like here. Not as long as a cat's, although sometimes they can be, I think. But not on this guy, anyway. Right, so next step, right, so we have the general face shape and then there's like the outer fur. So, let's see. So, yeah, so like, coming out from like the corner of his mouth, right, we're gonna bring sort of a hairy line coming this way, it kind of joins here. So this is like, say, the edge of his face, facial structure, but his fur comes out a bit further. So say this line, like, will go up like this. It might have some hair and stuff inside, right? And you'll do something similar on this side too. So it kind of goes like diagonal up this way, hairy, furry line. And some texture here, right? So I go up right to the top of his head, but we'll just put his jaw in first, right? So we've got like hairy, it's all fur. Goes right up into here, right? So that's like his jaw, I guess. Just there, and you might have like some more hairlines inside here. And we'll do something similar coming up from the corner of his mouth here. So it's like light sort of hairy lines. Like so there might be some texture inside here. Like this. So then this kind of comes up towards the top of his head, which is just up here. So we have like hairy line at the top of his head, just here. Something similar going over this direction. These of course join his ears, but these come up at the side of his head as well. So we have like a light sort of hairy line coming up just here and then up here too. That so that's like the shape for his face, and you could have um, some more lines coming up. Like border collies have like a white area on their snout here, and kind of this white area sort of travels up the center here. So you could have like you could describe that if you wanted. So the white would travel down the center here, and like come around. The his snout just there 
And then you have maybe some more fur coming around the eyebrows here, coming down the side of his head. Just getting that direction is what you're after. Kind of going around the eye and then sort of down the eye, down to there. Like so. Right, so, um, ears, I guess. We'll do ears and then we'll do the fur that comes down the side of his head, just here. So your ear is real furry, like everything. So you're adding hairlines coming up this direction. And then they kind of come across. To a point, real big ears. Out to say here. And then we bring it back in. Like so. And it'll come like down from there. So it'll go down this way. And of course there's loads of hair then kind of sticking out here. So it doesn't go straight in. We have her hair that comes out from the ear just here. So, so we'll try and do some of that. So like spiking hairy lines like this. It's a real hairy, sketchy, and like, hair coming down here, and then like some spikes of hair this way, and then like some big ones that come right out to there, it's so real big. And there's hair spikes growing up to the inside of his ear as well. Like so. Some more hairlines here. More hair. Some sticking off the edge of his ear here. So real big ears. And then like, so in here would be say, like a darker sort of section. So you might like just add some hatching lines just in here, just some light hatching just to make it seem like it's darker on the inside of his ear than where the hair is, you know? Something like that. But of course, if you were coloring, you could just do like a darker pink or like a black shadow inside there. So then this ear hair will start to travel down the side of his head now. So it's kind of going to go down like this. Okay, and then it kind of sticks out here. So this is like the big wide part of his head now. Right, and this keeps traveling, so it's gonna go like all the way down. Yeah, and there might be some like hairlines inside here, but you basically keep going all the way, and it kind of comes in, it kind of comes down to a point right in the middle, then here. So it's like this fur. Just sketchy lines coming down this way, like that. And then like the side of his body could be like here. And like more fur and stuff inside. Sorry, there's a fly buzzing around. <laughs> Yeah, so like the fur will come in here, and you could add lots of sort of hairlines. Not, not that much if you don't want to. 
Anyway, I'll leave it like that and we'll jump over and pretty much do this over the other side. So on from the picture I'm doing from this kind of, one of these ears is kind of more pricked up than the other one. So it kind of just goes a little bit higher. It's kind of like, not that much, but maybe like up to here. It's like just a little bit higher than this side. You could do them both the exact same if you wanted, but just to add, I guess a little bit of character to the dog, you know, like he's like, Burr. and then you add sort of hair, spikes and stuff coming all up. And we'll go down like this. So you've been like, this is a real loose kind of feel to the drawing. Do you know, like you're, you're just kind of scribbling sometimes. You're not even, it's fun. <laughs> I like drawing this style. And then, so the side of the ear again, kind of like this one, it'll come down sort of like this. Yeah, something like that. And you can add some hairlines just on the outside of that. And then like here, you'll have big sort of pieces of hair that come across like from here, that like stick up all the way to there. Big ones. So the fur that's like coming up around his ear and stuff on the inside. And then you might have some like, a shadow under the the lip of his ear just there. And then like we did over there, you could add some hatching and stuff just on the inside of his ear to make it look like this area is a little bit darker than the rest, like inside. And then we're gonna bring this fur down to the long parts of the fur then here, which start to travel this way. So we're gonna start bringing it down his head now. Okay, so like, comes down to a main point here. Kind of like that. And then it is gonna go travel down. So it's going to go out and down. So we're going to go down now and bring it in to this center point right here. Kind of like that. And then you can add some more fur. adding fur for days of course but less is more sometimes and the side of his body would come kind of this way if he's in a, like a sitting position kind of that way and of course there might be some more fur going that way So, so just maybe darken up some of the edge lines to make them stand out a little bit more. You know, thicker line weights maybe in some places. But that's probably, oh, border collies. So like black or brown or whatever color you want. So it comes down to here and this is like white. So say from the corner of his mouth, there would be a 
darker curving section. So like here, so like this would be black, this would be white. So say like here. Like that, so this would be like black, white or brown. You, you know, I've seen them lots of different colors, but um, I think I'll leave it there. That's probably the best I can do for now anyway. Um, hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.